Hi everyone, Lee Magpie here and today I've got something else Jurassic World related and this is the Jurassic World Dino Escapes Sora Pelter. I am hoping I pronounced that right. This is actually a new repaint of the first one which is the red one um, and it is a totally different coloured scheme. It is, they're slowly get, we're slowly getting some new ones, um, some other Dino figures coming out very soon. This one was £14 off Amazon. It was quite pricey, but it will be out in other retail places pre um, pretty much soon. Um, on Smiths, the Entertainment, and maybe like other retail places. Um, for the actual retail price, which will be £10. Um, and... Yes, but I saw this and I haven't done a review on Jurassic World stuff for a while because the it went a bit, it was on a good fast paced, now it's on a slow paced, but now it's slowly coming back up again. So I have got some other Jurassic World stuff coming up soon and some other Tyler stuff coming up soon and I'm very excited to do some more new videos as it's been a while i think it's been about two weeks nearly three weeks since i've did my last video so i'm sorry that i haven't been uploading any content but i am back and i am rolling and yes yeah, so we're gonna have a look at the new jurassic world dino escapes um fierce force and then obviously the name and the dinosaur looks really cool, really nice colouring, and we'll check that out when we get it out of the packaging. And the Dino Escapes packaging is pretty much the same as all the other ones. Um, obviously, we've got blue in the background, nice sunset with some tranodons, broken down fence. And then on the side of the packaging, it just says Dino Escapes here. And these ones are all the ones what are coming out pretty much soon. I, I've seen the Gallimamas and the Raptor and these floating around. So I'm definitely going to get these two. I'm not going to get the Gallimamas because we've had absolutely loads of them. I know we've had loads of Raptors. But this thing looks a little bit different because it looks like it's got a swivel joint around its waist. Which I am very curious about seeing. And I really like the coloured scheme. And then with this one... It's a new new species and it looks absolutely awesome. And the picture of this figure looks really cool on the back of the packaging. And obviously it's compatible with the Jurassic World Facts app, which I always do. Share the scan code so you can scan away and put it into your Jurassic World Facts app. And yeah, there isn't really much more I can say other than I'm hoping that these come out pretty quick for all of us. Um, I know they're floating around Amazon so I might get them a bit earlier instead of waiting for Smiths to get them out and I'm very excited to get back on the rolls and do some more reviews for you guys so yeah without further ado I'm going to get this cool figure out of the packaging I'm even going to do a comparison with the very first one what we've got so everyone I've got the Sora Pelter out of the packaging and I'm hoping I have still pronounced the name right and my overall thoughts on this figure is it looks absolutely awesome I love the coloured scheme a lot better than the first one I still really like the red and brown still comes up quite naturally but greens different types of greens just give that really authentic um, more natural feel about it and it's actually got three types of green so it's got like this lamb green on the end of the nose and then it's got this foresty mossy green on the bottom which comes off a bit bright on camera but it's actually if i just turn my light out you'll see that's the more that's more like the color what you see now and um, this is more like a mossy green grass green and then this is like a foresty green on the top really really nicely done i really like the mechanism for this one the movements are really nice and um, i think it's the first time they started doing this and then they've actually done it on one of the new um stegosauruses so that's really cool and yeah the sculpt is really nice so this is the face up close let me try and focus that in. There you go. I'm going to just review this like it's the first time 
we've seen this one obviously a lot of people might not want to watch this review if they've already seen the red one they already get the gist of what this figure is like but i will review things just like it's the very first time having this toy and it still looks absolutely awesome it's got some really nice details around the nose and around the eyes that nice bit of indivits mind my fingers by the way i've been doing a little project so i've got paint on my fingers really nicely painted eye nice sculpting and like i'm gonna cut this is like scale plate detailing on the on its back And the spikes are different. I think they're a different grey to the red one, which I'll show you that in a sec. And the detailing on the back looks really nice. The sculpting of these little lumps and bumps look really cool with the texturing. I really like the texturing of the way the green scatters it a little bit down its side of its legs as well, as you can see here. It just makes it look a bit more natural the way it scatters that down and it's like an extra texturing on the tops of the legs and then it goes into the more softer skin so, so just nice bits of texturing a bit like an ankylosaurus with the big plate on its back its big shell on its back just looks really nice what else i really like about this figure is it's got some really nice movements um, as you can see, it can move its sad here. So if you move the tail, it does like a head swiping action, which is really nice. It's actually got some really good articulation in the head as well. So you can swivel the head. It's got a bit of a ball joint to move up and down, but it can't really move that much. And then it can move its head side to side by moving this middle section of the neck. And then you can actually swivel that as well. So the spikes move differently however you want to move it. So that's really cool for photography. Um, really nice for just some really good posability. These are quite hard spikes and then these ones are a bit more flexible. And yeah, you've just got some really nice movements. I absolutely love that they've added them with this type of figure. Because you don't really get that with the Ankylosaurus, but you do with this. And then with the legs, you can move them that far forward. You can actually move them out like that, which looks quite silly, but it could look like it's laying down, which is quite cute. Or it can lay down like this. And you can work it just looks really nice Um, I like the little bit of sculpting underneath the neck as well that's really nice little touch I didn't notice that before and then the back legs obviously move back and forth and you can move the thighs in and out you can't move the tail however you want but you can just move the body it would be cool if you could move the body and it'd stay in one position Um. But it can't, but I think if you wedge something in it, so if you wanted it to pose like this. Oh, sorry for it focusing in out, sorry. Um, if you wanted to put like a, a stick or something like that, just to wedge it in for a really cool picture, then you could just to keep it in one pose. But yeah, I think it's an absolute awesome figure and definitely worth adding to your Jurassic World collection. And here is the scan code here. So pause away and scan away, just give you a sec, and then there is the Jurassic World symbol at the bottom. I always like to show them because I just still think they're real cool, how they've kept up with the little stamp at the bottom. And yeah, I just think this figure looks really awesome. I'm going to do a quick comparison, I've had to put my light back on, so obviously the light, the colours make it look a bit brighter. But it is a quick comparison. As you can see, they're obviously totally different. Um, I really like the detailing a little bit more in the face of this one because it's got like extra texturing of brown, a lighter brown, and then red. Um, 
I've actually got two of these ones and I will get another green one so I'll have two red and two green because I think they'll look better in heads that way when they're a bit more of a mixture and yeah really cool together they're very odd colours together but if you mix them with other colours then they'll look really nice and hopefully they'll be out in other retail places soon oh and I've noticed as well the spikes are literally like the same colour but this one looks a bit more whiter and this one looks a bit more like a creamish colour so they is actually they have actually changed the colour I didn't think they've changed the colour but they have and yeah so hopefully we'll, you'll be able to get your hands on these in the UK and even in the US and other places and I have more Jurassic World stuff coming up soon. I have more toy related stuff coming up soon. I'm sorry it's been a bit slow and that's just how it goes on my channel. With me being from the UK, it's a bit more harder to get my hands on these toys a little bit earlier. But I'm trying my hardest and that's why I need all the help I can get. So please like and subscribe to my channel. Hit that alarm bell for more toy related stuff and get your hands on if you can get your hands on this awesome figure go for it and this one is brand new so it'll be out very soon or you might already have it already so please like subscribe to my channel and i will see you all on the next one bye guys